Okay, I'm Mr. Bryant, teach a construction class. Today we're going to have an expert on our rebar. Our rebar is a reinforcement that we put into the concrete. So it's a little bit loud in here, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm Mr. Bryant, I teach the construction class, and we're working on a project out in the back of the high school here. It's an uh, accessory building. We're going to use it for storage, and we're going to store an ambulance that we have sitting over by the side of the building. And today we've got our expert on rebar. Now rebar is part of our concrete that we're going to be pouring around their footings around our project here. If you can see back here, we've got all these holes dug. These are down 42 inches, and that's to keep our building from heaving, from moving up and down. To make the concrete a little bit stronger, we have to put some rebar in. So this is kind of steel pipes that we put in the ground and pour the concrete around it. it makes a little bit more strength for the concrete so we can build on top of it and it'll support the weight of that building that we're putting in. So you should be able to see the, uh, our expert coming in and show us exactly how the rebar works uh, just in a few minutes. Hi, I'm Catherine Gilbert and I'm part of the DEM Academy in Romeo um, and I'm in Construction 3. Right now we're working on the accessory building out back that is going to house the ambulance and extra wood that we have for the class. How does it benefit the students and the school as a whole? I would say that it benefits the students as a really good learning opportunity and it also exposes the students to varieties of different workforces within the construction industry and the school as a whole. It'll then house the ambulance because we don't have a garage for that yet. It'll have a carport on the side for it and any extra wood we have available we can go in there. Who is involved? Everybody in the Construction 3 classes are allowed to help. And then we have multiple other companies that are coming in on their own free time to come in and help us learn and teach us how to build a building. <laughs> when is the plan for the finished project? The plan is to put in extra lumber for the class to keep it away from the elements. The project will be located out back further than the regular teacher parking lot. The biggest challenge involved in making the project is probably the weather. In Michigan, everything freezes over quickly, and now having to work in the snow and the environment of Michigan is going to be difficult. Will this affect other places in the school? Other than the HHP Academy, not much. It's mainly for the construction class, but I think as a whole, I think it'll make the school look nicer and more put together. What other projects have been worked on in similar to this one? Every year the Construction 3 class or sometimes even Construction 2 will help work on and build a house, usually two stories, inside of the shop. That's one of our other biggest projects that we work on throughout the year. What is the official name of the building? The official name, all I've heard is the accessory building. I don't think it has any other fancy name other than that and everybody's been involved just trying to help and pay attention to what's going on around our school. All right, uh, so we're pouring a, a slab right now. I'm just raking, raking it with the come along so they can come with the street. We can flatten it out. And yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing. <laughs> 